Dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you guys. Sorry for the lighting, but here's the tag. So what I'm hoping for is 370 gears, which is what I'm told when I bought it, uh, what gear ratio was in this. Um, I don't know what stock is on some of these. I think this truck was originally like a, I don't know actually, like a seven, no, it's a 69 originally, and then they swapped out a bunch of like 70 to 72 parts on it. Dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you guys. Can I even reach you? I don't know if you can tell, but that says, there, I'm blocking it all. Right here says three, right here says 70. So 370 gears. It's also possible they just swap this tag out or something, but, oh yeah, I have 370 gears. Side note, uh, brake cleaner does a pretty good job of degreasing. Is this hole supposed to be there? <laughs> or did somebody just like cut that out? Is that supposed to be in the cross member? Fantastic. I think I'm gonna take these spring purchases off so I can really scrape this stuff off. I do not know how my engine didn't bounce around, but it's loosely hanging out in there. Finger tight. Wow. Huh. Well guys, this is what Spring Purges looks like for a Windsor engine. 60, uh, I assume 65 cross member to 1979.
Okay, all right, you guys can tell a lot's been done. Sort of a recap here. Not necessarily in this order, but there was gunk underneath my truck, so I pulled it out and I swept everything up because I degreased, if you will, which isn't really degreased. I just scraped the center console because this thing has leaked for years. Did a little bit of scraping back there, cleaned up the engine perches that are usually right there as well as a cross member for the transmission. And then sprayed this down, which I'm gonna be painting all of this. Um, sprayed it down, cleaned it up a smidge, just sort of a, a once over this time. And then, yeah, the wires. So I eliminated a bunch of wires that were pointless. I'm pretty sure I got most of them. There's one mystery wire that I'm gonna make sure what it is before I do anything. I plan on splicing out right here and adding new wire to go all the way out. And then my next, after that, is I'm going to remove this, and I'm gonna remove that, and I'm going to attempt to do something different here for the steering, future video. Um, I'm planning on re-piping re these. I'm gonna see if I can get my block valve, so it's not proportionate on this because I want to run rear disc, so that's why I added this, which is a uh, adjustable portion, proportioning valve. Works pretty good, by the way. So I'm gonna repipe all of that jazz. If my idea doesn't work, I'm gonna get a new one of these, probably a high ratio. Probably have to remove the column. I don't have to remove this, but I kind of want to. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I find a really good reason to remove the column because I'm planning on creating something that will just bolt up to the original column. I don't want to have to necessarily weld anything just in case it doesn't really work, you know? Besides, I'm kind of contemplating like uh, producing a bolt-on kit for... Anyway, that's that's another video. Uh, yeah, all this will be gone. I'm going to reroute my fuel here. Uh, I'm probably going to go... Man, I don't know yet. Away from the exhaust, so I guess I'll pipe it up front. I'm not sure yet. And I'll probably put the fuel regulator right there because I'm running electric. I kind of want to get away with from the hose just because I might someday have fuel injection, which I don't know. I don't know enough about fuel injection yet to know if I can run too many hoses along the line. I assume not. Uh, usually when I see it, it's a return hose. And then they, but anyway. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> It was a eventful day, I suppose. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do right now is remove that stuff. At least start on it. Then again, I also have this over here. Need to remove that trans. Might be selling it to a buddy. Separate that. No idea what I'm going to do with that, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'll probably remove the trans, pull it out pull that out, the engine stand, put it over here, and then sort of with the tire and the old engine sort of shove it in the corner there. And then I'll be able to put this away because it's foldable. And then I'll get to clean everything up. I can move the engine stand and the engine back and forth and all that. So I also need to remove the fenders, but it isn't like necessary for any particular reason yet. So a lot of stuff to do. We shall see. <laughs> that might have something to do with my steering. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like chaos, but everything has its purpose and it's bagged. All the bolts, minus these extras, which are junk. There you go. You guys have seen enough of this. So that's the plan. I guess I'm going to get to work. Hey guys, for those of you that are wondering, this is my brake setup here. Brake, you know, brake booster, dual diaphragm, new. It's like new used technology. They come in chrome and zinc, and the chrome one is, haven't had too much luck with it. And then this right here is just sort of the hot rod or something, I'm not sure, style sort of Ford version. Chrome, all that jazz. Probably need to clean that sucker up. I have ran the Ford Explorer one before, really enjoyed it, did the same, about as good as this one. I don't really like remanufactured brake boosters and brake ma master cylinders. 
And then back here I have the extension, so I can, it's like a universal brake rod, and it bolts right up. Now, uh, if you guys wanna know more about this, about how to make these up, because it does require a little bit of work, there's a video I made up above that you guys can check out. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if any of this would be informative to you because I really didn't show too much of it. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Subscribe, do all that jazz if you're on Facebook. I appreciate you guys, all you members. And uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, check out Fort F100 World, Build It Your Way, Steel Beauties. The list goes on, Mercury M M100 World on Facebook. We're also on Instagram, so yeah. We do giveaways there and everything, so as well as uh, tons of information for you guys, and we regulate the heck out of it, so it's nice and uh, chaos and drama-free, so or at least we attempted to be. All right, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you guys next time.